What's going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, the Long Island Fish Guy here. And on my last video, or one of my last videos, I asked you guys for 50 likes on my unboxing video of my Sterlet Sturgeon, along with Joe's Sterlet Sturgeon, as well as my Tiger Silver Dollars. If this video also gets 50 likes, just 50, just 50 likes, I'll do a feeding video of the cool fish I'm getting inside this box. You guys crushed the goal there. Currently, that video has 63 likes on it, so you guys destroyed it by 13 likes, and I owe you guys a feeding video of those fish. There's one problem. Sterlet sturgeons, I kind of rolled the dice a little bit. I did read that typically sterlet sturgeons don't really do that great when they're really smaller than like, let's say 10 inches or so. Mine, the first few days of having it was behaving normally, it was eating, and then it started getting a little bit loopy. Uh, not really, it looks like it was more so like a swim bladder issue. It kind of was like floating around the aquarium and such. Unfortunately, my sterlet sturgeon did die. Joe's lasted for another week or two, uh, but actually it died as well. Uh, our Tiger Silver Dollars are still with us and doing very well. They're no longer in this tank, my 36 gallon. They're actually moved to my 125 gallon fish tank that you'll be seeing shortly. So, I owe you guys a feeding video, and rather than actually go and show you fish that are dead now, because obviously they can't eat, I'm going to show you a feeding video of all of my fish. I know there is definitely some fan favorites on my channel of the feeding here. We have a spotted Congo puffer in this tank, a red wolf fish, my Oscar George, tons of really exotic fish from my 125, which you'll be seeing today. While watching this video, if you see any fish you do like and you don't know about or you do like and you want to talk about it, drop a comment in the comment section below. We'll have a little conversation about it. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content here on my channel. So without further ado, here is the video of The Feeding. All right, guys, it's only right that I start off this video with my red wolf fish. This has probably become one of my favorite fish since the passing of Steve the Stingray. The reason why I love this guy so much is because he has so much personality. He is so interactive with me day in and day out. And by the way, he is a super aggressive eater, if you can't tell. He will chase down anything and everything that touches this water. But recently he actually just got a tank mate. He actually has a green phantom pleco in there. Ooh, take a, take a look at this guy. It's chomping down on that freeze-dried krill. Such a marvelous thing to watch. Really, it really is to be honest with you. That's why it's on YouTube. Beast. Now this is my 36 gallon aquarium. This is right above my 29 gallon. I got that spotted gar in there. Got some Kelberry peacock bass. Just a ton of different fish in this aquarium. Really growing out in here. Ultimately, those guys will be going to my 125 to join two other Kelberry peacock bass as well. They really mainly krill and a few uh, different types of pellets. Got a few datnoids in this tank. Actually, two datnoids inside this aquarium. Uh, with some other really dope fish on the bottom, which you'll see right here when I add these scallops in. This is a Polypterus endicillary. Uh, I actually have a, also a Polypterus uh, palmus buttercofi in this aquarium as well. I don't think there's video of it though. But oh, I love that, that this bite here because he's got the little horns on his head. Those are actually used for uh, to breathe oxygen when they're younger. Not all, uh, not all bichers have that, just the lower jaw bichers with the flatter heads. There's a magnum pleco right behind him, eating on some pellets and stuff. This right here is actually my spotted Congo puffer. I actually got him in, from Monster Aquarium in Queens. He's been pretty shy since the peacock bass have been uh, growing a little bit. They'll be moving over to the 125 soon, but he's still living along there. This is my 15 gallon aquarium that is actually in my bedroom. It's on my nightstand right now. Uh, that's actually a true parrot cichlid. Not really that common. I actually have two of them in this aquarium. This tank is a little bit on the overcrowded side. I did that almost on purpose. There's a lot of corridors in here. It's really mainly used as a grow out tank. 
so this tank really isn't uh, meant for to home these fish long term or permanently. They're mainly just growing out here for right now. There's actually some panda gar gar in there. I'm sorry, regular gar gar. Those are the albino hoplo catfish. That's an epistogramma. This fish, this tank really eats a bunch of different types of foods. Really just a hodgepodge of fish in this aquarium. Right there is actually a moray eel. It's a moray tiger eel. That is a full freshwater eel. Not really that common. Drop a comment in the comment section below if you have actually ever seen this fish before. Uh, again, that's a fish I got from Monster Aquarium in Queens. Really cool. He only really eats bloodworms. But actually tonight, I actually saw him actually eat pellets. So uh, Also, probably one of the coolest quarries I have in here are these laser quarries. Uh, they really just stand out. Oh, and this is a mystery barb. I bought this in a from Tropical Showcase. Let me know what you guys think this fish might be. I know it's a type of barb, but I'm not sure what type. Here is the 125 in my parents' house. This is probably my most nicely scaped aquarium that I have right now. Uh, it's got the nice tan and tea color, um, and it's really dope. I'm really loving this aquarium. Again, this is a really fun tank to feed. The hoplo catfish love eating off the top of the aquarium like this. The jaguar cichlid trying to, you know, eat its way through in there. It's always so cool to like see this and, and watch these fish eat like this. Oh my god, and this is a galaxy pleco that I actually got on Craigslist. So beautiful. A tail bar hoplo. I have so many different species of hoplo catfish and different hoplo catfish in general. There's a dwarf giraffe catfish, a four line catfish. I have all the plecos. That's a rhino pleco right there. I actually love liking this video. It shows off a lot of the fish that I don't really show every single day, uh, you know, either on Instagram or on YouTube. Uh, pretty cool, you know, that, you know, you guys are seeing all these fish that I kind of don't always can give the spotlight to from going on fish store tours and, you know, doing things like that. So let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content, and, you know, more fish like this and kind of highlighting these really cool fish I have. These are also Calberry peacock bass, by the way. Uh, same species as the one in the 36 gallon. Oh my god, I love these peacock bass. Look at them. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. See the tiger, silver dollars, just swimming around, schooling around. Also, I'm a very big datnoid guy. If you notice, I've, all my tanks really have some datnoids in them as well. I will never turn down datnoids if I ever see them in a fish store. Next up we have my 75 gallon aquarium that homes my fan favorite George the Oscar. I always love saying this, that's actually an Oscar that's from Petco. Arguably the best looking Oscar on YouTube. He's been called that many of times. Now he doesn't look like he's in the best shape right now because he likes banging his head on the glass. So that's why he's got some marks on him and also he gets into fights with my pike sometimes. But overall he's a great looking Oscar. Look at the patteration, patteration? patterns on his body. That pike also loves to eat as well. You'll notice I'm feeding a lot of freeze-dried krill. Freeze krill. I'm actually going to be shying away from that soon. Um, it's not really something you should really you know, leave in your diet. Uh, for your fish, long term at least. Uh, but these guys actually love eating this freeze dried krill very often. There's my Jack Dempsey. She's a little bit paled up right now, just because she's getting into a lot of fights too. Oh my god, and this is my red eyed puffer. She's very shy. I say she because she's actually a female, but uh, she's in a five gallon aquarium by herself and uh, sometimes doesn't like eating with the light on. <laughs> and it's also at my parents' house. She's just shy. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, be sure to smash that like button that's down in the bottom. And uh, yeah. But if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. Most importantly, 
don't forget to fish on.